Living here in northern Scotland, we don't get a, a massive uh, profusion of, of butterflies, generally speaking. But just over the last few days, there's been a big explosion of painted ladies uh, in the garden, which I first noticed two days ago. Uh, a painted lady is a migratory uh, butterfly, and in some years, literally millions come to the UK. And so it makes it a, a very good subject for photography. And just here, I've got maybe 20, 25 uh, butterflies flitting around on the flowering chives just behind me. And so I've um, got the macro lens on, and I'm going to go out and, uh, and see if I can get some shots. For butterflies and other insect photography, I would prefer to use a specialised macro lens. Uh, the one I've got here is a, is a Sigma 180 lens, uh, but there's quite a, a number of macro lenses available. Alternatively, you can use a short telephoto lens, something like a, a 200 or 300 mil lens. And the problem there to overcome is the, is the close focusing aspect. So a very cheap way of effectively getting yourself a macro lens is to buy a set of extension tubes, which are relatively inexpensive and uh, manufactured by all the leading brands. Because the butterflies are on the move uh, here uh, today, I'm going to hand hold the camera just to give me full flexibility. And that's got some implications for the exposure that I'm going to set. Uh, obviously, uh, hand holding, then camera shake comes into operation. So I need a, a fairly fast shutter speed just to prevent any uh, camera shake problems. So the shutter speed that I'm going to use is about 1 250th of a second, which should arrest any movement. And uh, the corresponding uh, aperture that I'm looking for is around f8. Now, today it's nice and diffused, and um, I should be able to get that kind of exposure quite easily, but sometimes you may need to uprate uh, the ISO setting, perhaps to ISO 400, uh, to allow you to get those uh, exposure settings. In terms of the approach for the shot, there's a few things to bear in mind. I guess the most important is the fact that you need to stalk in very slowly. Uh, usually I'd wait for the butterfly just to settle for a few moments on, on the uh, plant on which it's feeding, then gradually move in, literally inch by inch, until I get into position uh, to get a nice full frame shot. The other thing to bear in mind is not to cast your shadow across the butterfly, as that will often cause it to, uh, to fly off. What you're looking for really is a butterfly with its wings nice and flat in the same plane of focus, and then you approach in the same plane yourself. That way you'll get a good sharp image from wingtip to wingtip. But a fantastic half hour or so here, loads of butterflies around, a couple of dozen or so feeding on the chives, so loads and loads of shots. I think I've photographed probably about four gigabytes worth so really keen now to go back inside, download and have a look, see if we've got some nice sharp images. I was very fortunate this year that we had a whole host of painted ladies coming into the garden, about 25 or so. But this presented me with a nice problem in that I took a whole host of images, several hundred in fact, and I just um, processed those down, just to two or three, uh, to show you here. And I was very pleased with this one, it worked quite nicely. The butterfly was uh, feeding on flowering chives, which gave a nice sort of colourful backdrop to the picture. Although it's not a, a plain background, it still um, complements the, the butterfly quite well, I think. Uh, just two colours there, really, in the background, the, the green and the, um, and the purpley uh, mauve colour of the flowers. For this second shot, I've gone for an alternative approach and um, got in quite tight, just on the head, trying to get the, uh, the butterfly feeding on the, on the chives there. And I selected an aperture of f8, which uh, allowed me just to get the eyes in focus and also the leading edge of the butterfly's wings. And um, using that fairly um, shallow depth of field, it's um, focused all the attention onto the, uh, the main part of the insect. It's also thrown the background um, nicely out of focus as well. The garden this year wasn't particularly brilliant for butterflies uh, with the, the bad weather that we've had, but we did have a few days when uh, the butterflies were out in force. And this is a small tortoiseshell which is um, feeding here on, on flowering mint. And this is really sort of the classic kind of butterfly image, I suppose, uh, whereby you've got the butterfly nice and sharp on an attractive uh, flower and a nice complementary out of focus background uh, with all the attention on the butterfly. And it was taken in in fairly bright sunshine as well, which obviously has brought out the, the lovely vibrant colours. And this particular specimen was in really good condition. And of course that's the other consideration when, fo when photographing uh, butterflies, is to try and concentrate on the ones which are in really good condition, 
uh, because some of them do get quite tatty uh, as, the, uh, as the season goes on. Butterflies on the wing are just one part of a very interesting life cycle and it's a life cycle which uh, offers up a lot of opportunities for creative photography. There are many plants that will attract butterflies into your garden. Budlia, sometimes called the butterfly bush, will attract a variety of species. Some plants are even specific to certain species of butterfly, and here's a list of some suggestions to get you started. <laughs> 